Hello and welcome to another one v one. This time we'll be playing on a new map, which is uh, above the river or behind the river. I don't remember. And in the blue trunks, it's pomegranate with Italy and uh, airborne with the USSR. And let's just get rolling and uh, let's take a quick look at the trucks. So two depots, uh, barracks. No, three depots. Three depots, barracks. Yes, sir. And uh, decryption blitz, uh, totally standard. Uh, airborne is. Supply, Opting sir. for two depots. What is this? Two depots, barracks, anti tank, and barracks. Uh, yeah, I really like the USSR push with two barracks and anti tank. Uh, mostly deals with any early game uh, sector. Really wise uh, move here, blitzing this sector instead of that sector. Uh, I don't know which are the benefits, and it's really hard to compare. Uh, both players are using decryption as the main tool. Uh, probably it's an old school thing. I haven't seen new players uh, like Speedfire uh, do that very often, and uh, Liquid Cat doesn't do decryption as well unless the opponent is camoed, I guess. So the Italy is going to be playing off the one racks and anti tank and artillery base. Uh, yeah. I really like this against. Uh, Anti-tank base, you know. Uh, the primary grenade should have an early edge here. Immediately gets light artillery out uh, in order to deal with the pesky anti-tank uh, gun push with recon. Uh, since the anti-tank gun will spell trouble for any small arms weapon, uh, it's very viable to use uh, w together with recon, since recon will take care of any, like this, for example, this recon infantry, and the AT gun will protect it really good. So the cannonades are really going to push forward and uh, I think if pomegranades gets the middle depot it's going to be a game over and um, for the airborne so he must be careful. Everyone has another truck going in so and uh, it's an extra barracks of the side uh, to push this town. So the pomegranate is tanking a damage with, with the light infantry, trying to push it back uh, while getting off some hits to the depot and yeah, the, it hasn't really been able to get the damage in as much as he wanted it. Basically if he gets this depot it's really hard for everyone to come back efficiently uh, and yeah, that that's really a game changer. And he gets a couple of shots off. Uh, not sure if it's going to be enough, but it is enough. And the pomegranate successfully gets a depot. Really huge blow. And let's see how Airborne responds. We've seen Airborne do pretty amazing comebacks in terms of overall claim panel. And, and uh, of course, the pom is aware of that this uh, truck is going there. And um, we don't see any more stuff. Here's this blitz in the middle. And uh, yeah, the Airborne is really. It did drop camo and will try to get to barracks as far as possible in order to force the enemy to commit to this side as well. And uh, yeah, the pomegranate realizes that and puts his own barracks there. And uh, probably is researching heavy infantry since I don't see him uh, putting out uh, any resources at the moment. The airborne is uh, going to push with the heavy infantry. He has the research done and. He will try to get his depot on his own, and he has an anti-tank end as well. Really nice macro by uh, Pump Grenade. Let's see, can he get uh, can he get the 18 gun? <laughs> the sneaky recon infantry is sitting there, and uh, it's going to have problems here soon. But Pump responds by getting his heavy infantry as well. First, uh, it's the race to the city here. I hope one of these players will use a blitz here. Pomegranate relocates his artillery to help uh, in assisting uh, with uh, heavy infantry. Even if the Guardia gets first in the city, uh, Pomegranate is actually quite uh, committing a lot of resources there. Uh, I, uh, this could spell trouble if he's not uh, really uh, healthy in the center because Airborne uh, can now get a good push in the center. Although this depot is important as well, there I see not that big of a reason t for him to leave the middle wide open like that. Of course he has heavy infantry there, but so does the Airborne. Although Airborne is still one depot short and he has to reinvest the money there as well. Huh. 
Sneaky everyone went around. Will he be going to able to get this? Yeah, it seems that Tom wants to deal with... Uh, oh, gets a surprise attack here. Uh, this infantry is dead and the barracks is off as well. And uh, probably Palma can now just roll in uh, with an infantry in and maybe use an extra artillery support. But uh, since he committed so much resources, he decides not to use artillery and uh, instead of it reinforces the center. The main goal of this artillery was to get uh, the barracks out of the way and rightfully so. He still needs his artillery in order to take out this annoying anti-tank gun. Since he can't really <laughs> defend himself against recon, I'm surprised the uh, airborne have, haven't run him over with the armored recons, but one of the reasons why he can't run over him is uh, because the because it's heavy infantry and you can't get heavy infantry like that. So Pombe will respond and move into his infantry there as well uh, and we can see new unit from the airborne fire. and it's artillery as well this for him. New unit production requested. He needs probably some assault guns, uh, I think that's what he's uh, going to do. So the artillery is in a nice position, uh, shooting on recon which is quite useless, uh, but um, a couple of heavy infantry is trying to go here, probably he will try to focus his forces and uh, try to do push against here. Pomegranate is in really good shape and uh, this is the first game we've seen him do a really hardcore offense after taking uh, enemy depot out so well, uh, but he's in good shape and there's no reason for him to stop back here. Now this is a decisive moment where he tries to cross the bridge and uh, everyone responds by getting a lot of heavy infantry. All the, all the pomegranate really needs to do is just get in the forest and uh, from there, there on he will be fine. He just basically spams all the forces, uh, there's no reason to do so. Uh, the airborne is going hard all in here um, by using fanatism here. And uh, Pomegranate is trying to work his artillery in his favor there. And uh, yeah, the Pomegranate will be coming from the back. So if he can combine all these forces into one group, this depot should fall again. Uh, I think that's the game over and yeah. The Pomegranate haven't really decided to add any more buildings to it. Uh, the one Caravel still is just holding it for a while and from what it seems the Pomegranate has been able to push the bridge efficiently and uh, and this cost of the $20 building um, is not particularly well. Pomegranate really well used his money and yeah that's a GG. Really well, nice played aggressive game. Uh, securing the pot takes back win from the start. Well played. Amazing game.